Hey guys, it's Dominique and thank you for coming back to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Today's video is the final sip for the month of July. If you haven't seen my previous video, well, I don't know which one coming up, but we talked about some things. So this might be the last one. This might be the last sip on this channel. But anyway, keep it cute. We ain't gonna get too much into that. Today we have the Augusta Wineries Vintage Port 2015 edition. And this is 19% alcohol by volume. I just like the bottle. It looks classic. Classy, classy. That's a big paragraph to read. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and, you know, take a glance, a glance, a glance at the bottle black and red and white very chic very stylish very minimalistic uh, pregnant women shouldn't drink Augusta winery is a Missouri winery if you don't know I had a few of their wines before and it was they were pretty good so I can't open this one I've never had a port but apparently port wines are pretty good it's like the way they make them like some type of Portuguese style or something like that. I ever tell you you're my hero. Da, 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 da. I ain't, that's a big. Damn, she almost brown. <laughs> Is this not cognac? What the fuck? 19%. Ooh, I got a feeling they're going to be good. She's complex. She's strong and complex. She kind of got my eyes watering for real. So the first time I sip this, it's so many strong flavors at once. Like literally got my eyes watering. It could be the pollen. I don't know. Could be both. But as you're sipping this and swallowing this, it is nothing but sweetness. It's like candy what is that candy it's some strawberry berry cranberry candy why am i getting fruit chews Why am I getting fruit snacks? Licorice. Like strawberry licorice. You know the all brand licorice be better than Twizzlers. It has a sweet aftertaste to it. Like strawberry, berry, cranberry. It has literally a sweet aftertaste that's very enjoyable. I see. I see you. You're complex. Because at the first, as soon as it hits your tongue, it's like, ooh, this is strong. But as you're sipping it, letting the air hit your tongue a little bit, letting whatever happen, whatever them complex $50 words they be trying to say. Like, oh, taste it, taste the wine like that. And the air, the oxygen is hitting the wine and creating this embodiment, all of that fancy stuff they be talking about. This is complex when it hits your tongue it's really strong and it's like ew oh my god is this brandy cognac uh hennessy what is this but it has the sweetest aftertaste it tastes straight like candy like a, a strawberry candy mm. it has a sweet aftertaste that is so weird it's it's strong. I'm going to tell you that this wine is strong for 19%. This is probably one of the strongest percentage or highest percentage of wines that we've tasted on camera. I think I had one just as high or higher than this. 
Missouri beautiful deep burgundy color made in traditional Portuguese style rich ripe fruit flavors and bouquet full bodied very long satisfying finish very true the deep burgundy color is almost chestnut very true because this look brown like I don't know what it's giving on camera but in person it's almost brown the rich fruit bouquet has also the rich fruit bouquet also has hints of black cherry spice and licorice so black cherry that's what it, it tastes like black cherry it tastes like black cherry you know shasta That's good. That's good. It's like when you you talking. It's like this long, flavorful, fruity aftertaste. I like this because I didn't know. I thought this might be good, and then the more I looked at them, like uh, it look almost black, brown black. It probably ain't gonna be that good. It's probably gonna be like really strong. But I like this. I am enjoying this. I did my uh, errands and duties for the day. I'm going to drink this. This is different. This is cute. I like her. I like her a lot. This is good. I didn't want to read all of this, but let me go ahead. Our vintage port is a wine made from a blend of several premium quality red grapes. We find that the blending of grapes and vineyards adds depth and complexity to the wine. Didn't I say that? She complex. Is made in a traditional method. This ancient process enables us to extract maximum aroma, flavor, and increase the structure, therefore allowing the wine to age gracefully for many years. Expect a soaring bouquet of bramble berries, dark fruit, licorice, and dark chocolate. Chocolate covered strawberry. Chocolate covered cherry. That's more like a chocolate covered cherry. These aromas flow seamlessly to the taste and finish of the wine. Vintage port can be best enjoyed after dinner in front of a roaring fire with blue vine cheeses, walnuts, and dried fruit. Okay, she's cute. She's complex. This was about, I want to say $12 or $13 again at Total Wines and More. Y'all know that's my go-to spot. I like this. Definitely going to get it again. It's not hard to describe if you get what I'm saying. Does that make sense? <laughs> so, when it first, when you first taste it, that initial first taste is very strong. It's oaky. It's earthy. But as you're swallowing it, and you swallow it completely, and you start to talk, and it's like you breathing it in and the aromas and the aftertaste is nothing but sweetness. It's like a sweet, I don't want to call this bittersweet because the first taste really isn't bitter. It's just very strong, not bitter, but strong, not bitter, but rich. And the aftertaste is very sweet. It's really weird. It's different. I like it. I didn't expect this. I just thought it was going to be a straight red wine. Which I guess if you wanted to put this in a category of red wine, you could. But um, I guess, you know, ports have their own thing going. Their own way of creating the wine. Um, having wines from different vineyards and different types of grapes. Different grapes from different vineyards and different types of grapes. To make this and this whole Portuguese style of creating a wine, this is good. I like this, but last week's is still my favorite. Like, <laughs> I still got a little bit left. I might go ahead and finish that. What if I put that in this? I might. This is good. 